Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. Got a question in here from Mindbender29. That's their YouTube username. They're writing in in the comments and they say, I understand the IBIS, but doesn't the G85 do continuous AF better than the G7? So this was a, a question following up on differences of uh, whether or not to buy the G85 um, or the G7. So he says, doesn't it do continuous AF better than the G7? I watched your other video on the G85, but that is my concern about the G7. I was going to get this Canon 70D, but I'm taking your advice and sticking to Panasonic with 4K. So it is either the G85 or the G7, but the continuous AF is my concern. Thank you for your help. So um, I would say from my experience, the G85 has better continuous autofocus. It's closer to dual pixel AF, like Canon has, than the G7. The G7 isn't bad. It's not It's not its best feature. The G85, I think, is better. I think they've made improvements on the G7. That's, that's what I've seen when I've shot with the camera and played with it. Is it on par with Canon's dual pixel AF? No, I think the 80D and the M5 and the 5D Mark IV uh, they're all they're all doing that function better. Would I choose the Canons over the Panasonics because of that? No. I had the 70D here. Uh, as you know, I bought the system, and I bought three or four lenses there, and the 70D, thinking that the dual pixel AF was something I needed for a project I was bringing online. I ended up, as much as I liked the dual pixel AF, didn't use it as much as I thought I was going to, and... I missed the 4K and the better video far more than I missed the dual pixel AF. Uh, so I've sold the Canon system off. I'm shooting G85 right now. Have a um, GX8 here as well. Going to be getting in um, possibly a secondary G7 again. And also hoping to get the GH5 in soon when it is announced. So, um, you know, 4K to me is where it's at. You can do a lot in post. Uh, and it's much more important to me than that dual pixel AF. I'm not saying to some people that may be critical depending on what you're doing. I know my good friend Peter Gregg, he likes to do like kitchen uh, videos. He does has a channel where he does um, cooking and whatnot. And uh, he's found the 5D Mark IV to be very good for that. There's other ways to deal with that other than having dual pixel AF. Um, but um, to me, I wouldn't go with the 70D over that. Now, the G7, if it's something that you really want uh, to have that that better continuous autofocus, then you probably want the G85 because it also has the other options. You got the IBIS, you got a sharper image, you got a, a quieter, less, um, you know, the shutter's not uh, impacting your image as much. They've, they've made improvements on the shutter. There's so many things on the G85 that are just tweaks and, and, and advancements on the G7 that make it worth buying. But then the G7 now is at such an incredible price, it's hard to decide. So. For me, if you don't want IBIS, um, the difference in autofocus, I'm not sure for myself, would be something I would purchase the G85 just on that reason. If I was concerned about that, plus I wanted IBIS, then I, I would go with the G85. Um, it's just hard because it's literally like half the price right now, right? So uh, I guess the best thing I could say is to know for yourself where you how you feel about it is, Go into a store and get them both in your hands and play with them both and see how it works. If you're satisfied with the G7s, go G7. If you're not and you think the G85 is that much better, go with the G85. You know, that's my experience is the G85 is that a little bit better. Again, it's not quite on par with Canon, but it's very. I think it's been improved. Um, what do you guys think? For those of you that have the G85, do you think it's been improved that much for continuous autofocus over the G7? Um, would you still buy the G7 in this situation? Let's help out uh, Mindbender. And thanks for your question. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at ArtOfTheImage.com.